Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Free Code Camp's JavaScript, Algorithms, and Data Structures certification. Uh, I, I recently just finished it and got the, the certificate for it. I'm going to talk about what I think about it, what I liked, what I didn't like, and what value it can get to you by doing it. Probably one of the number one questions I get asked is, where can I find some good, affordable hosting, Dylan? I want to put my portfolio site up. I want to put my websites up, my web applications. Where can I do it? Might I recommend Glowhost.com? And I want to thank them for sponsoring this video, where they have not only great hosting, but affordable hosting, as low as $4.95 a month. Not only that, if you use the coupon code Coding Tutorials, they're going to give you the first three months free for the shared hosting here to get you up and going so check them out at glowhost.com so you can see here i uh i finished up the javascript algorithms and data structure section which they they say is roughly 300 hours of co coursework and in all honesty for people who are picking up their very first programming language i think that's realistic sometimes people think 500 hours 300 hours 200 hours um you have to understand a lot of these are they're for beginners to intermediate or they're for absolute beginners to beginners trying to go to intermediate is how, how I look at it. So the JavaScript algorithm and data structure is, uh, let's go to the curriculum real quick. Um, so you'll see some of them I have empty on here, but I've actually worked through the course content of this specific one on the beta site twice and about two thirds of it once here. So in my professional opinion, I, I, I work in the front end and I, you know, I write a lot of TypeScript, JavaScript. JavaScript's the only language I would say that I'm 100% proficient in. Um, I've, I've been contracted out to build two JavaScript courses with Scrimba and a TypeScript course with them. I have a JavaScript course on Udemy and uh, I have a type. I, I have JavaScript, TypeScript, uh, YouTube videos. I've been working in, in JavaScript for the professionally the last two years, and uh, I, I would say that that is my strongest language by far. And I think that this certification, just the preface that this certification does a very good job of getting you to the point where you're going to get comfortable with JavaScript, at least exposing you to the stuff that you should know. Uh, their basic JavaScript section is exactly that. It's gonna get you going with all the, everything that you didn't even know was part of JavaScript. And the ES6 section is something I particularly like because when I'm interviewing candidates, I always ask ES6 questions. I ask other questions, but I ask ES6 questions because I wanna know if they're current or not. To me, it's an important thing to be current on a language because it means you're learning. And if ES6 came out in 2015, if you say you've been working in JavaScript for the last three years and I ask you four ES6 questions and you can't answer three of them, uh, <laughs> really? Uh, how much coding did you really do? Um, and, you know, that's all. Some people I think some people don't think that's as important. I do. But um, so it's going to get you update on the current standards of JavaScript, which is ES6, and more stuff has come out since 2015, but that was the largest release at one time. Regular expressions. Uh, this was a section that I think is uh, overlooked, and you'll see here, I, I, I haven't done it in the, in the, uh, since I did on the beta, but these are one of those items that get kind of overlooked quite a bit when you're learning learning to program, and you know, I've had people say, hey, I've never even heard of regular expressions. The section here, I like very much so, uh, debugging. So one of the things that separates a very junior developer from a senior developer and one of the things you get better at as you progress in your career is debugging your code. You know, only, t you know, 90% of the time you are writing bug-free code, but when you hit that 10%, it takes 90% of the time. If that makes sense, right? So like uh, the majority of your time will be spent dealing with small issues as you're writing code and solving code, at least in my experience. And the other t the other time, you'll get 90% of your work done in 10% of the time, but when you get stuck on that 10%, it, it takes up 90% of your time is what I'm trying to say. And the debugging section here is great to sort of, 
if you've never had to debug code before and, you, and you're not sure what to look for, this gives you a very easy baseline case of what to get started with so that you can you can debug. And I think this is an excellent addition. So um, if, you've, if you've ever heard me talk about algorithms and why you should study them and get comfortable with data structures and something like that, one of the reasons that I give you is that the high pain, the the very well, the, the, the jobs that are going to pay you quite a bit are going to give you a whiteboard problem. They're going to give you an algorithm problem. The reason for it is they want to see if you are a good problem solver, if you can solve them very well. In, in my personal situations, when I've interviewed and I've done well in the whiteboard problems, I've had you know six-figure offers the same day um, where you just kill the algorithm. And that, that's I, I think they're pretty standard for anyone who wants to be in the higher tier of, of developer. And so this is one of the reasons why I think this is crucially important because the front end libraries is a great one as well, but and the rest of the certifications are great, but this specific certification, in my opinion, is what makes you think like a developer. You know, it's great to learn a library, it's great to learn about HTML and CSS, uh, and you're gonna have to have that also, and you're gonna have to have these libraries, but once you learn to think like a developer, all that becomes a much easier process. So understanding how to manipulate data structures like arrays and objects and really understanding that those very key principles which are going to be you know for the most part fundamental to any object based object oriented type language you know the things that the, the thought process you're going to take from this certification aren't necessarily going to always be like oh what are the array methods in JavaScript it's going to be if you really think about it how can I work with arrays and that way when you transition and you go from front end to back end you know you're going to understand how to think when manipulating similar data structures in C sharp for instance so the basic data structure section is fantastic and the basic algorithm practice 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 right so uh, how do you how do you go and get those large offers how do you go and kill those technical interviews well you practice and that's what all these are about. Theoretically, if you wanted to, you could just take the the harder five um, five data structures and algorithms you wanted to. But how do you ever get there if you don't do the the easy ones? So you know the out the basic algorithm ones are fantastic, and I think you should do them. And by the way, if you want, if you're like, look, there's you know 25, 30 in here. Uh, I, I don't remember. Maybe maybe 40 in here, and you want more. I have my course, the 100 Algorithm Challenge. You can get it for $9.99 down below where I work through over, over 100 problems to get you going and some phone interviews for JavaScript. A little shameless plug there, uh, but the link's in the description below. Uh, but the algorithms here are great, as well as the object-oriented and functional programming section. I don't believe I've done the functional programming section in on the, the beta when I originally did this, but I definitely did the object-oriented. And so... I, the object oriented is another way of um, using understanding objects, understanding classes, understanding how to write your code. Um, you know, depending on what sort of frameworks and, and methodologies you're using, chances are you're either taking functional if you're in the front end and working with like React and Redux. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, or if you're working in like um, Angular, you're probably going to take a, a much more object oriented approach to it. You don't have to, but it's good to understand different programming paradigms so that, uh, and these are, these are additional things that will carry over. Functional programming, object-oriented programming, that is not unique to JavaScript. That is not unique to the front end or the middle, uh, middleware or node, anything like that. These are great concepts to keep in mind for you to get comfortable with. And another another aspect of that takes a junior to the mid and mid to senior and just sort of a progression of a developer is being able to handle these sort of lower mid ideas and being proficient in them and people often ask what separates a junior from a mid it's like a junior can write code a mid developer thinks about how to write good code and um you know writing good code means that you understand some of these principles 
and how to work with them well, not just work with them. And so these are things that are going to carry over. And then you have, the, of course, the intermediate algorithm scripting section and the ad advanced stuff. Uh, for me, I, I really like the algorithm stuff. That's something I've always really enjoyed doing. Uh, the reason for it is it is always, always, always paid dividends to make me a better developer. I will say, without a doubt, if you're just getting going, you're just getting going. This is going to be a hard certification for you. Those algorithms, they're going to they're going to be killing you. They really are. Um, you know, most most aspiring developers who are just getting going to software, it's really hard to to start to think like a developer. And that's that's what's happening. You know, all these other all these other ones um, you know, maybe minus building the projects and working with the frameworks and stuff like that. That might be it because you still have to break down the problems. But here, what you what you're really doing when you solve one of these algorithms is showing a mastery of a language and showing a mastery of how to problem solve in software development. So, you know, th that's really it. It's showing that you understand control flow in your code. It's showing you understand um, data structures. It's showing that you understand maybe math operators and 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 you you understand how to use these items, right? You know, programming is nothing more than having a toolbox. And it's great to have a toolbox, but you know how to use the tools, right? So that's really what the algorithms give you is you have a toolbox that is the language of choice and programming and software and these methodologies, but can you solve, can you, when I say, okay, with those tools over there, I need you to solve this problem. Can, do you know how to use those tools in a, in a way that makes sense, right? If I give you a hammer and a nail and you take the nail and you start hitting the hammer, you don't know how to use the tool, right? So those are the things that you need to, that you, if you do this, JavaScript algorithm and data structure certification that you'll get out of that is you're going to you're going to practice and you're going to learn how to use those tools and it's going to be frustrating. This is probably for the people who are just getting going. It, I I really do think this is the hardest one if you're doing the algorithms and that's the whole point of this really at the end of the day is to get you to practice, get you to to learn to to think like a developer. And because of that, it is by far the most beneficial out of any of the certifications on here. And I highly, highly, highly encourage you to do it. But the negative aspect is at some point, you're going to be frustrated and you're going to smash your head on the keyboard. And that's okay. That's part of programming. It's a, it's a special part of programming that we all can relate to when you're just getting going in software. And so welcome to the club. But please, uh, if you are looking for something to get started on, this is an excellent section to, to get you up and going and, and um, start to think like a dev. So um, that's my review of the JavaScript algorithms and data structure certification. I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. As always, um, don't forget to check out my course if you want more algorithms, the 100 algorithm challenge. And of course, um, like, share, and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll, uh, I'll probably do another cert uh, certification in the next week or two. I'm slowly working through like all five. Uh, but, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, but, uh, it, see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.